Hey, love buds, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, just thank you so much for the love and support. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope that, you know, the video is really uplifting to you and gives you insight where it's truly needed. And the content title of today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, remember what's hurting is helping. A lot of times we're looking like, what the heck? How is whatever is hurting me is helping me is giving you that deeper form It's all about how uh, we choose to see things that we're going through. And a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to see things as uh, a positive uh, situation in hectic, hectic and drastic circumstances. It's really hard for that because a lot of times if you read up on different things, especially if you're a numbers person, they're always, you know, you could be, you know, in between fences and you're really trying to understand what's going on and boom next thing you know a number comes up and it's telling you to read back on it a lot of times uh it says you know um there's changes that are unfolding that you may not be aware of or quite understand or there's a lot of things that may even though you may be facing a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles this is going to better you this is going to uh strengthen you all obstacles is something to gain strength from you know there's a lot of times where we lose sleep at night you know we allow situations and people to take <laughs> rent in our head rent free you know into our space and a lot of times we, we spend our times, you know, second guessing our worth, our, our love and everything's thinking something's wrong with us. And it's not, you know, it gets to that point where if you have gone through a lot of tragedy, you know, you may have gone through those those times of uh, victimizing yourself, even though these things has directly happened to you. But it's just like a lot of times we don't realize that we're playing a victim. At times, sometimes we do. Some people do that to get attention. And there are some people that go through it and don't realize that's what they're doing. There was a, a long time when I first found out all my stuff in my life. I didn't realize I was victimizing my own self. Even though these things has happened to me. But it was just like God wants you to be able to change, flip that script on yourself. You're not a victim of anything. Even though these things may have happened to you, it does not define you. These are not the things that this is where your life is going to be you know for the rest of your life no this was just the beginning of that you're discovering yourself on so many levels from those circumstances from you which you've gone through through the shortcomings through the tragedies through the trauma you know through deception lies cheat you know whatever has been stolen from you you know your peace has been shaken and these are the things that's showing you these are the things that's helping you you know when people abandon you that's just showing you you know hey that <laughs> that was that time has spent you know, that time has expired for those people to be in your life. A lot of times we feel like people turn their back on us. And it was actually the universe and God switching our direction. They, we turned their, they, they, he had us turn our back on them. You know, they're only supposed to have a certain access of that vibration that we hold. You know, you change every minute. You know, anytime you, you can actually catch yourself on seeing, uh, I shouldn't have did that. Or, you know, allow myself to repent for those thoughts that I had or the motives that I may have had against a certain situation or a certain person. You know, a lot of times we get aggravated because there are certain things that we want in our lives and we'll try to manipulate timelines to make sure that happens at a time. And then we get upset when those things don't happen the way we, we actually want them to. And God is telling you just because they were delayed doesn't mean he's denying you of that. It's just the fact is you weren't in that that spiritual vibration to be able to open the doors for that. Because if he promised you something, that's his promise. He does, never serves any uh, empty ones. But the devil, your fear, your ego, you know, and the pessimistic vibrations that we keep will make it feel like God is playing with you. God is lying to you. But these are the things that he's he's taking you through this initial training and I mean that must be hitting hard you know spiritual warfare is no joke you know different things will be happening there could be different uh, situations where you're financially struggling you know your marriage is just falling apart you know you're, you're bumping head with your children you know you got financial struggle coming all out of the yin yang you don't know where your next check is coming from you don't know if you can be able to feed your children as well as yourself you know all these different struggles that are doing and it is just like 
you know, we can't question what God has, you know, done. But it gets to that point where you can probably look back at everything that you have faced. And it you can really see where those things is really, you know, really, really hit you hard. But it actually made you show you you're a warrior. You know, there's things where when we look up what a Hayoka warrior is, there is nothing petty about it. There is no like mediocre situations about it. No, we deal with harshness. It ain't just one one thing. We we probably juggling two or three different, you know, or, or even even 20, you know, harsh circumstances that we're trying to face in our lives. And it, it doesn't uh, mean that that's where our life is going to stay at. You know, these are the things was where it was just the, the tip of the beginning. You know, you, you become your own plot twist on different things in your life. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to see the change within things just because we may be in a certain place we don't want to be anymore. Around certain people we don't want to be around anymore. But you don't notice th those circumstances is what helped you. Those people that did you wrong is helping you. Even when people wish bad on you. Even when they're doing the little mojo jojo, they're helping you. Because through those moments, you know, through those moments, it's making you so much stronger. Because there's a lot of time people wish something on you, and they're really trying to understand how does this person still have a smile on their face? You know, how come, you know, the hair ain't fell out yet? You know, or they're walking around like a whole basket case when you, they just don't know. There's been moments, and I tell anybody, you know, people tell me how strong I am. And I tell people, there's time to time I get weak moments. There'll be times I get up in my feelings. I don't lie about that because not every day is going to be positive for somebody. But even when you hold yourself together, that is applying strength. That's applying pressure to you because you're allowing yourself to face these situations that you're going through. And that's not easy. That's not for the weak hearted. You know, it's easy for somebody to laugh at you and mock you because you're going through a struggle or you're hurting in some kind of way or you're in a very uh, depth of, of uh, depression, you know. But those things that, you know, opposite of what that is, people use different things to avoid what needs to be faced. And that's more harsh than anything because it's piling up, you know. And it got times where we were probably even like that. And it's just like you're clearing everything for yourself. So it's just like... When when God is giving you something unexpected, you're going to be in all vibrations where you're going to see you are glad that those people got snatched out your life. You're glad that there's moments that you had to be alone because it's like all these different times is like they say, always dark moments show you the true intentions of everything. You know, it will show you truth in ways that is never, you, you never you know, never expect it. You could see people that you, you know, friends turn into foes. You know, family turn into enemies. You know, and sometimes you be trying to understand, you know, it's like, man, I'm your friend. And you, it, it's just hard to be able to tell the two between friends, family, and enemies. Because sometimes they, they go in the same suit. And those are the times where it's showing you, you can be strong on your own. You know, they may have took these people out your life because you don't know what they were doing behind your back. You don't know what's being said behind your back. You don't know what kind of, you know, things they were putting together to seek and destroy you just because of who you were, who you were and who you are, you know. And those are the things that has really taken place in your life. You know, um, it, it's, it's just like there's so many times I look at my life and right now I'm actually OK being by myself. The way I am. I love doing my videos. It's just like I had to take a few days off because when I said sister was tired, sister was tired. And it was just like I damn near made like 30 videos within a whole week. Seven seven day time. I think it's seven seven or ten days time that I did those. And I was just like, I was tired. <laughs> you know, I said this was even last minute because I didn't even put no post up or anything today. And I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and do me some videos. You know, I got different things that in my spirit I had to speak about. You know, we go through so many different things in our lives, and it, it's not easy. It really isn't. It's just like, especially when you are doing all you can to see things from a bigger perspective, see the biggest picture out of the situation there. And you're trying to be able to see a positive outcome from negative circumstances, you know, and those things are very hard. You know, you have to. But this is one that's really uh, making you test your faith on everything. You know, certainly so many different things may be snatched from you. And this is how universe works. They snatch things from you. That is not, you know, needed. A lot of times it's like you need money. Like, shoot, I need money to pay my bills, feed myself, to pay, you know, keep a roof over my head. What are you talking about? I don't need, you know. And it'll be just different things that's coming about where 
they were telling you, you know, because we take something away, don't think that something ain't going to come in its place is going to be better than that. Just a lot of times, you you know, you got a job, you you know, and even though it may be having a good pay and you got a, a good benefits, but you're miserable as hell in that, in that situation. So they're telling you, you know, this is that time for you to venture off and find your own thing where you're going to be your own boss. You know, you're going to have your own employees. You had to go through those jobs to get different experiences on what you're going to need when you start your own stuff. These are the things you had to understand what it is to take inventory, what it is to get a product. You know, how do you get it shipped to you? How, how does a, you know, a boss sit up here and apply towards their, their uh, employees? How do you respect your own employees? You know, for you to be able to respect your employees, for your, your, your employees to respect you. All these different situations. You were going into that point where you had people that seeing you is an easy access and I mean easy access to you is like a lot of times people see empaths as being stupid naive idiotic all those different things it's not the fact of that it's just the fact is even through the worst person we try to see the most good in them and a lot of times it's hard for us to do that and we, we bypass the caution signs and then when things finally hit us bottom, rock bottom we trying to understand why did this you know why am I just feeling this now why am I going through this and this and this and that and universe is telling you we showed you the red sign the, the red flags from the beginning and a lot of times those red flags from the beginning is the same reason why you left them later on you know and you see those different things you know a lot of times you got to go through tough times where it's showing you how people don't have the same heart and the same mindset as you just because you would be that person that goes above and beyond for somebody to be able to do something to you know help other people because you know that blessing is going to come back anyway or this is how you want to be treated you're treating other people like you want to be treated so when you're doing that even if they do you wrong you know you still got to be able to allow thank you for allowing me to see that you know and then it's just showing you forgive them you know forgive them this is that tool that they have this is that thing that they always use because a lot of times we had a tool of a mechanism from being toxic to other people you know we can always say all day you know this person was mean to me this person lied to me this person stole from me cheated on me did this and this and that but there have been a time where you probably did some of the same things you know, they may have not been on, you know, we can't get upset, even though we have every right to be upset. But a lot of times we have to be able to understand, don't take that personal. You probably ain't the first person they did that to. And you sure ain't going to be the last. You on your healing journey. You can't make somebody get on theirs. They may not be on their healing journey yet. They're still experimenting. They're still experiencing. And these are the things that's helping you, you know, because it, it was just like with my situation, I had people dropping out my life left and right left and right left and right and it was just so hurtful because these people have been in my life for years you know family you know and then when I see when that truth hit and you start seeing the true colors of everything that was the most hurtful thing it is and now I'm at that point where six years later you know and I'm still blessed about that you know there'll be times where you know you're still healing from different things that's taking place and you know you're really trying to allow yourself to stay strong through those moments of weakness and you're still staying strong because you know you have to get on your knees a lot of times like God look <laughs> I'm really trying to stay patient I'm really trying not to catch a charge you know this and this and that and God's like stay still you know this is that time where it's going through a ground you, you're going grounding and you're going through stillness and this is what it is because these are things that's showing you that's always been there it's just wasn't your time to be able to see it or there'll be different things that you had to go through and then you, you collecting those red flags just to, you know you collecting them to post them over there <laughs> you know it, it's giving you that mental note like like i said in that one video don't get in the habit of collecting red flags you needed that only need one red flag for you to move on and now i got to that point where i used to always give people chances and a lot of times people will do something they already know they plan to do it again but they so used to you you know them apologizing to you i've always heard well you know i was i always feel like i can apologize but it's just the fact is when it becomes it, once you know shame on on them next thing the second time shame on you but when it started happening repetitively oh that's just a habit they ain't being sorry that's just a habit that they know they can get away with and you have to understand when you start allowing yourself to put your foot down you have strong boundaries within yourself when you say no and you mean no and you know you don't have to give an explanation on why you said no you know, it's either your choice if you want to say why you didn't do something or why you did, you know. But it's that time when you know you can't get manipulated, people going to hate you. Just because the fact is they can't control your mind. Your mind is a very powerful weapon. That's the reason why folks be trying to mind play games 
too much. They be playing them head games. But it's just like these different things that are taking place in your life is really helping you. You know, you had to go through these situations. So when it comes to, you know, certain situations with relationships and all folks, it's toxic, narcissistic, sadistic, you know, sociopath, psychopath. You had to be able to understand those things. So when somebody else come approach you about it, your soul be like, hey, you remember that last time? You know, and it'd be like that because it's just like, you know, you can be a strong-willed person and, and talk without even stepping over your words and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, somebody come to you and all of a sudden you start stuttering and everything. That's, that's your soul telling you that person ain't right. <laughs> Leave that person alone, you know. And it, it just came to that time where that gets ha happened to me so much. When I feel that shift, I'm gone. A lot of times, I won't even get to the introduction. It's straight to the announcements. You just ain't going to be able to touch me no more. Maybe you're able to see me, but you're not going to touch me. You know, and you had to be at that time. People will be calling you every name in the book except the, mom, the name your mama gave you and the child of God. But that's okay. I'd rather have my respect than have, be stuck around. Keep a distance. I will distance myself from disrespect. I allow myself to stay quiet when you, even when I have every right to be enraged. You don't have to be able to prove a point to somebody. They know you right. <laughs> they know you right. You know, people want to do something dirty behind your back. What well, goes in the dark will eventually come to light. There's three things you, three things you cannot hide. That's the sun, the moon, and the truth. You know, and you have to be able to allow yourself to say thank you. Thank you. Because it's just like if you, you didn't have something really going for you, you wouldn't be having the trouble that you have. You know, if you didn't have people in your life to sit up here and, and, and abandon you right when you need them both, you wouldn't even know how to stand on your own. You know, if there are certain things that just didn't come out, you know, you're determined to get it and they just say no, 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 no. Whenever feeling say yes, 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 yes. That's just to see are you going to give up on it just because you kept on getting those couple of no's. Nose is always for a next opportunity. And they're telling you there's everything around that. If universe and God gave you a image, you know, that embedded in your mind saying, I don't want you to be able to create something for this. This is gonna be your purpose. You know? It may be confusing when you're trying to go through this, but you're gonna get an understanding where that cloudiness is gonna dissolve dissolve and it's gonna create clarity for you. And these are the things that shows you everything that hurts you is helping you. You know, and it's just like when you get to that point where doors of opportunity is busting wide open, it's like one door closes and five of them open for you. You won't understand why they made you wait. You're going to understand why they told you to be patient. You're going to understand why they told you to have faith, not just within them, within yourself. Having that belief in what they said is going to come in. And it's not going to be just how, it, how you thought it was going to be. It's going to be over that. Just because the fact is they see the things that has taken place. They see how people treated you dirty. They see what people did, any and everything to try to seek and destroy something that God placed you on a path for. You know, and you gonna appreciate them enemies just like you gonna appreciate the people that stood there by your side and you know, you know, and supported you all the way. You gonna appreciate the people that was saying nothing but the truth just as well as the people that said nothing but lies. That, that stuff makes you a beast. That's, that right there that you're going through is going to allow you to see the inner goddess and the inner God within yourself. You're a warrior all day, every day. And this is the reason you're fighting the old from the new. You ain't fighting the world. We ain't got to that yet. <laughs> we ain't even got to that yet. But you're fighting the old from the new. There's parts of you cannot exist anymore that don't exist anymore. And a lot of times we hold on to fear. Because that new don't feel right. That new that new is like sometimes we can be in that point where so many bad things happen in our life. We don't feel like we're worthy of that. And that's where that create that create uh, creativity of fear comes in. You know, I don't know if I got what it takes. I don't know if people are going to believe in me. I don't know if I, you know, I'm going to make it for that. And they said, stop doing that to yourself. Give your credit where credit is due. Look at how many things you have surpassed already. Look how many times somebody wished the worst on you and that would end up becoming the best for you. You know, look how many people abandoned you. They seen something in you that they didn't want you to see. You know, and that was helping you. You know, if you don't got nobody stopping you, you ain't doing enough. <laughs> you ain't really ain't doing enough. But allow yourself to, you know, let that sink in. You know, we're all going through some different times in our lives where we're, we're fight, fighting a lot of battle, battles that many don't know about. You know, and just take it day by day. You never know where it's going to unfold in front of you. If I have not 
uh, replied to your comment, y'all. Like I said, this was like straight spontaneous. I'm going to uh, surely get to your, your comments because I've seen a lot of comments that I got that I have to respond to um, and email. So if I haven't yet, please be patient with me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I was just got it to be able to, you know, put these videos out. So I hope you were able to resonate with content of my video. And I would love to give a post uh shout out to Kai Lejeune. I hope I pronounced that well because that's said it was kicking the butt because you told me it was Cajun. We Creole and I don't need to be messing up no daggone Creole Cajun names like that. So I apologize <laughs> for messing up your name. So uh, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Bill Flippin and um, Wildflower. Much love to you as well. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, uh, it's just about spiritual networking, you know, just be able to give you a broader perspective of the things that you may be facing right now, the things, you, you know, unfolded, you may not understand why it did. Um, and whatever we speak on is confidential. I try to help out the best way I can. I'll also leave my link to my podcast as well. And if you feel, ever feel, you know, generous to, you know, share a blessing, you know, you can go ahead and drop a donation. And, um... I hope you have a blessed day, blessed week, prosperous week. Whatever you're working on to manifest into your life, I put so many beautiful vibes that God opens a door that you know that you can't even shut. He's gonna be putting blessings on you where that one blessing comes in is gonna be coming in, coming in. You can even stop it if you want to, and you know keep moving even when you don't understand what's going on in your surroundings. Know that God's working on something for you. It can be sooner than you ever expected. So you know keep pushing, be persistent and consistent. And you will see me on my next video. And yes, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. Much love. Peace.